Hi, so in a previous video we made this thing out of a Venetian blind, it's a set of bellows. We actually ran it as an air engine and it was essentially just a bit of fun. But uh, Greg Hall saw it and he said, Rob that's awesome but why don't you take it one step further? And I said, what do you mean Greg? He said, well, that is in fact an efficient air pump. With very little effort you could turn it into an AC unit. And to be honest I thought that was awesome thinking. I mean it's the kind of thinking I love. Talk about lateral. Now Greg tells me he's made one of these and it is in fact more efficient than a fan and I can believe it, it does move a massive volume of air really really easily. So how do we turn that into an AC? Well the first step obviously is we need to drive this, this section here backwards and forwards to get that air pump working. Now it doesn't take a lot of effort to drive that so to do that I've got this. It is a 12 volt window winder motor. It runs I think it's at about 50 milliamps when it's running. It's really not much and it's meant to open and close windows and you can get these in a whole range this particular one is 25 rpm and you can get them up to 100 rpm you can get them down to 10 rpm so the thought is we get that and we attach it to this now i got this out of a printer if that is on there like that and being driven around we put a push rod on it and if you're watching my videos you will remember that i made this push rod for a different engine that it wouldn't fit I was very disappointed and now I think I've got a use for it so I'm quite excited. Put a push rod on it and that will move backwards and forwards pushing that in and out. So that's the first step to bundle that together. So let's get on with that. Okay so there's the drive unit put together. I mean it's really from things lying around. I mean that's remember is the um, drive wheel from a printer. These are Munson rings incidentally. They're the bits that hold copper pipes to your wall. The bearings are skater bearings and then that's a window drive motor at 25 rpm and so that will drive this bit once I create a linkage between here and here. This linkage incidentally is just a, a bit of 10 mil bar I turned down to look what I thought was pretty screwed into a Munson ring and if I turn that on I'm going to hold this out of the way so it doesn't drag on the floor at the moment. <laughs> that's very cool. It's actually at uh, eight, uh, 8 volts and 0.6, no, sorry, 0 0.05 of an amp. So 50 milliamps at 8 volts, and it's busy turning that little drive wheel around. Now, it's only 25 RPM. You can get different rates on this. I just liked that one. So all I've got to do now is uh, create a link between here and here. And you can see on this bit, I've just removed the valve. So... I make a link from here to here, fix this motor down, and that should push those bellows backwards and forwards. Okay, there it is, all connected up. I actually think it looks even more Heath Robinson and steampunk than ever, but I love it. Let's put a bit of uh, voltage on that. <laughs> so that's at 4.6 volts, and yeah, it's moving the air. That's very cool. <laughs> Pun intended, I think. Put it up to six volts. Okay, that's really cool. I can see this bending a bit, so I think that needs to be made a bit stronger. But uh, it's pumping cold air out of here. So this is the heart of an air conditioning unit, if you think about it. What we've got to do, really, is draw the air from a cold space, well, in the summer. So here, um, my downstairs in the lab is much, much cooler than the upstairs. The upstairs is an industrial building, so it has a tin roof, and that roof bakes in the summer, and it's sweltering up there, but the air is nice and cool here. If I could move this volume of air upstairs, upstairs would be cool as well. Same thing if you have a, a crawl space or a cellar, something like that, where the air is naturally cool. Now, if you're planning your own air conditioning, of course, what all you really need to do is dig a big hole, chuck some rocks in there, and cover it over, and you'll have a cool air space all year round, and you can pump that cold air using an efficient air pump 
into the house to create your air conditioning. So you can either do that, prepare a space where you can do that, or move the um, cold air to the warm air area. Now this thing's drawing hardly any amps at all, and it's running off a few volts, and yet it's moving this volume of air, whatever that bellows volume is. So obviously if you made the bellows bigger, you would be able to move a bigger uh, section of the air. This needs to be stronger. Now, we need a valve chest on this, obviously, but the valve is really simple. It's just a flap valve. So as it sucks air in, you want the air coming from the pipe that's going to the cold bits. So you have a, a flexible conduit down to your cellar. Your flap valve will be like that. You, as it draws it in, the flap valve will open that way. And then when it pushes, it will slam the flap, uh, flap valve closed, and it can only go one way, and that is your exit pipe. And your exit pipe will then have the reverse flap valve, so when it's trying to suck it in, it will flap shut. When it's pushing out, it'll flap open. Now, if you want me to make a flap valve and attach it so you see the whole thing, I'm happy to do that in the next video. But that is the heart of a bellows-driven air conditioning unit that would be incredibly cheap to run much cheaper than a current air conditioning unit. The problem with air, obviously, is when air gets warm, it rises. So all the cold air is down at the bottom, all the hot air is at the top. Now that's true in winter. So in winter, when you've got your heating on, most of it goes into the loft. If you do your heating with this, where you're pumping the cold, the warm air back out of the loft into your living space, it should reduce the heating cost as well. Now, as I said, this was uh, suggested to me and uh, it's currently a running system, apparently, so Greg tells me. So thank you very much for that, Greg. I thought that was an awesome suggestion, really, and I had to show our bellows working as that heart of uh, an air pump for an air conditioning unit. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching. I just think it's awesome. <laughs>